What's going on YouTube? It is me, Jefferson, coming to you guys with a video today on this um, Jason Mark Premium Shoe Cleaner. You can find this product at jasonmark.com. I'll post a link down below. And uh, this is, I think, $15. Um, it comes with a 4-ounce bottle solution, 98.3% uh, um, totally, you know, uh, biodegradable and um, environmentally friendly. Uh, it is made out of natural soaps derived from coconut and jojoba oils, whatever jojoba is. Um, it's four ounces, cleans up to 100 pairs of shoes, and it also matches with my Kobe sweater that I'm wearing today. Also comes with a hard bristle brush right here. Pretty cool, you know. Um, so I also bought these products as well. I got a little microfiber, okay. Um, you know from Walmart you can't use a hard uh, brush like this to clean suede so what I did was bought um, a separate brush it was like four bucks at Walmart so I figured why not it's, it's a lot softer so you know for all the um, very uh, delicate materials such as new buck suede and uh, doer buck and all that stuff and I also have a bowl of water brought to you by Magnolia Ice Cream. Yeah, for all the pre-noise out there. Took me like six hours to get the sweat from my palms inside here. What would a video be without shoes? You know what I mean? So uh, here I have um, Air Jordan Playoff 12s. All right, I beat these up quite a bit. I'm gonna clean it up. So um, dip brush into the water like so. All right, get your solution. Oh, damn it. Get your solution and apply. I don't even know how much to put. That seems good enough. Okay, and then dip it back into the water. Like so. And uh, start scrubbing. And it should start to lather up like so. It smells really good too. It smells like detergent. So this is all the coconut oil from the Philippines doing work, you know what I mean? And of course you get to uh, redo this over and over again. So let's see how it works. How you want to do, and of course the last step is to uh, get your uh, rag, or in this case, a microfiber cloth like this. And damn, I already see the results. You guys could totally tell the difference. Damn, this thing is nice. And I use those uh, foam cleaners, you know, that you buy in stores and stuff, and uh, it doesn't work as good as this. Um, damn, that's pretty cool. And uh, uh, so this really works really well on uh, um, rubber and leather. So now that I've done uh, this shoe right here, let's see how well it would do on suede. Maybe the other side like of my so. SBs. Um, I got some puke right here, and so I'll be using two um, brushes. I'll be using the, this for the white midsole, and of course, the softer bristle brush for the suede on top. I'm gonna dip it in some water. All right, get the solution. Apply the solution. Okay, I like to just rub it on there, and um, dip it back into the water. Shake it off a bit and start scrubbing. If you want to, add just a little bit more on there right there. It's pretty much done so. Now what we want to do is clean uh, this uh, the puke off right there. So what you want to do is take a bristle brush, dip it in the water. Take as much water off as you can. Dip the solution. I'm just gonna use half of the brush. Okay, dip it back in the water. Remove as much water as you can, and then uh, start scrubbing. All right, that's done. Looks like it worked. There you have it. Those puke marks on this shoe are gone. 
All right, that's amazing. Ain't it? Scuff marks still there, but you know it's all clean. Most important that those puke marks are gone. Look at that. You gotta let it dry still, but hey, for the most part, it works. These are beat. I went to Hollywood and uh, hiked over there. Touched the, uh, tried to touch the letter, uh, the letters of the Hollywood sign, but um, it was too far up. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take the dirt and dust off the shoe. Um, so again, take a cleaner, dip it in the water, push the solution on it, all right. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dip a little water, take some water off, and start scrubbing. So that's done, and it's pretty much brand new. Wow, this is crazy. That wasn't even that hard. Wow, this is pretty dramatic right here. All right. That's insane. Here's the back. There it is. Before and after. Now, let's go ahead and clean the remainder of the pair. Some solution a little bit. There it is. Lucky freeze. Rejuvenated. There you have it. Right before your eyes. Amazing. Feels like a brand new pair. <laughs> Bam. Alright, so uh, as you just saw, that is the Jason Mark Premium Shoe Cleaner. Uh, I just demonstrated um, that it does really, really clean your shoes very, very well. Um, it is probably the best cleaner out there at, on the shoe market today. I haven't, I've used plenty of shoe cleaners. I've even used just soap and water, but that's just a hassle. So um, the Jason Mark cleaner, not only does it clean um, all sorts of materials, as you saw, I just cleaned the Air Jordan 12 playoff, the outsole, the leather on it. Um, I also cleaned the Chumley SBs, which had suede and um, that wide midsole. Uh, and of course, the most dramatic one was the Nike Free Run 3s in which I definitely beat up, I hiked in them and there was all sorts of dirt and dust on it and that was made of, of course, Hyperfuse and Mesh. So uh, it definitely cleans, it makes it pretty much brand new. Shout out to Jason Mark, he's over there in Titan right now in the Philippines, uh, doing a collab with them. Um, he is Filipino, half Filipino, and I'm Filipino so I'm very very proud of what he's done in this um, sneaker culture and stuff and develop this awesome product so hopefully um, you guys go out and go get that cleaner if you want to you know what I mean it worked I'm gonna continue to buy more and continue to use it so uh, also my next video will be on the KD4 stay tuned for that and I also have one more shoe that I cleaned up it was the Concord 11 the nylon mesh that will be in my uh, I'll post that at another time so um, it was just I had to clean up the mesh and here is a preview of that and until next time, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, this of course is the worn, this is the dead stock so we're going to try and get this as clean as possible. I'm going to use a combination of this brush and the other one. Alright so this is what happened uh, after I cleaned it, this is how it looks like. Um, this is, was of course before and this is of course a dead stock pair so you could totally tell the difference between the two.